Hey guys, let's see, bringing you another video. Welcome back to the Huzzy account. So yes, the Huzzy account. We're going to try and recover it a bit more, make our way up to Diamond. Uh, we are playing Ash AD Carry. Um, boop, there you go. Uh, so we've got a Cold Streak on, but they're duo. They have a duo as well, a Shaco and a Syndra. The Syndra does not look very good at Syndra. Her KD and win rate kind of say that. Uh, Neela and Janna, you do not see many Neelas. Um... We've got a one-trick zillion on our team. We scale really good. Oh, our LeBlanc also looks really bad too. Her KD's good, but this is the thing. It actually happens a lot to LeBlancs. Their KDs are good, but they don't actually play to win. They play for kills. It's very common. And the fact that it has split pusher, yeah, that scares me. Like, you shouldn't be split pushing on modern LeBlanc AP. Like, she, if she gets a good lead from lane phase, she needs to get involved. And if she's just on the side lane not doing anything, then, you know, doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the picture up to the Twitch chat as well. Uh, sorry, the YouTube channel. Because it's really fun. I think it's a very funny f photo of Maya. Um, I might need to get it up again. Hang on. Okay, and then... Yeah. Alright, you guys ready for a funny Maya face? Ba -ba! There will be peace in the frail yard. This photo was she was sleeping in her bed and I just look over and I'm literally here and I look over and she's just looking at me like that. <laughs> and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> and yeah, that's technically a Maya appearance. You have to like the video. Those are the rules. I don't make the rules, but those are the rules. The day our tribes are one. The world will oh. Yo, she is very funny. We also got a really funny picture of her looking like Mother Teresa. I'll have to try and find that. I don't have it on my PC right now, though. Um, I've got it on my phone. <sighs> no fate is written. Green pleb put like a blanket over her head. W level one. Really? He took W level one basically just to do that one attack. There's a Shaco in the game. Though I doubt we'll be early ganked. I think with Neela, by the way, for those that like may go, Huz, what's your opinion on Neela? Let me know what yours is as well. But like, my opinion on Neela is why play Neela when Samira exists? Samira, Samira is just a better version than her, basically, in every single avenue. Zillion's pretty accurate. What is goodness but trying to do better than your forebears? Hello, Mr. Shaco. I'm going to push this really quick. Which one's push? I want to push this to get the lane then to reset. Shaco did that in that time that we were fighting them there, by the way. Oh, there he is. He literally did the scuttle and was waiting for the echo. It's quite funny. He dead. 
ruining a, ruining a Shaco early game would be very good. He is still somewhat early game reliant, that champion, especially in jungle, I would say. Hello, Mr. Arun. This kind of seems that Neela can't do anything. Obviously, she's more of an all-in champion, so she'll be biding her time of all-in, but... Even when she can all in, like, she's against a zillion. But that seems really bad for her. Ooh. They were not... That was my bad. I went a little bit too much. But they also weren't very connected there. Jana's doing more damage than the Neela. She was looking for me. I say I hear her voice, but I hear only. Hey Zillion, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why did he go near them? I don't know. That was weird. Should get this cannon or at least the XP from it. Come on, Ash, run! Yeah, I got the XP. Nice solo kill in mid lane. But now Shaco turns up. Is she dead? I think she's alive, which is great. Yeah, that's really good. Good survival. Fish me on. The ice is not pain, it is surrender. So is Ash magical at all in the lore? Like, is this champion got any magic or is she just technical? Like, what's the story? It's like she can control ice or whatever. So is she magical? Janna, you can tell, is quite frustrated. Spirit, reveal our way. Here's the Shaco. I've spotted the Shaco quite a lot this game. <laughs> nice. dead. Zillion is so under- like how is he only level 4? He's just useless. He's like everyone is level 6 and Zillion's level 4. I don't understand how he's so under leveled. Like 4. H how? And yeah, unfortunately the mid laner roams. She's dead for overstaying. She was greedy for a plate. She also should be dead. So again, the enemy bot lane die, which is good. Oh, okay. The Blanc mucked up, but she felt bad. So she was like, okay, you're not surviving. But she wasted flash and ignite on a Janna that was definitely dead. <laughs> Make sure people are dead. He was roaming a lot. I don't even know if Zillion has roamed a lot. He's been bot lane pretty much the whole time. I, I honestly, he must have just been out of XP range a bunch, because otherwise I don't know how. He's so underleveled. So if he was level 6 there, we probably would have been fine, but it was two level 6s versus me as level 6. Like, that just isn't good. That's Shaco. Got a plate, which is nice. 
Chaco's here. Yeah, he, he must have just been out of XP range a bunch. We will unite the Freljord. This Janna's kind of annoying. Oh. I oh, yeah, arrow top lane, but Garen just died to tower anyway. That's annoying for me. This Janna's playing too aggressive. I know that's weird to say, but yeah, she's playing too aggressive. She was thinking about aggression there rather than defense. So she was positioned in a way that enabled both of them to get killed. She just accepted a defensive play there. Don't know if they would have died. All right, my, my finger is literally on D right now, just in case I need to instantly barrier. Obviously, I am thinking the Shaco might come. Well, statistically, whenever they have released the data, which they, admittedly they have not done that in a few years, but statistically, Janna's are known as very toxic y ragey. dead again i think they're just playing too aggressive for no reason i, I don't know why the jan is playing this aggressive <sighs> not too bad I don't have Kraken yet. <laughs> She'll just be going collect though. So hilariously, even though we're doing better than this Neela, her power spike is quicker than mine because she has collected probably before I get it. Oh ha 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 ha! Why are in this room? Oh. She's like a ninja. She sneaks in and out, and I can't even tell half the time when she's in my office. She probably even won't come in here because I've turned the air conditioning off, so it's actually 27 degrees in this room right now. Praise Orn, the fire burner. Hey, treasure killer. So this room probably is a bit too warm for her to be in. If I turn the AC on, she'll probably come in, though. Oh, I found him again. I keep finding the Shaco. <laughs> Poor lad. We can't all in this because Shaco's just gonna come over. We are all kin of kin. Blood. Blood. They really want that ward. I'm guessing because they want to have a Shaco gank. And there's the Shaco gank. Bit outnumbered in that play, unfortunately. Wait, Orn's here. Oh, Jaco came back. Nothing we can do about that. If Orn gets one kill, it's it's all right. It's something at least. He gets one. There's the there's the real Shaco. I think Zillion. Well, Zillion obviously got baited. Janna went back with the ward, and Zillion got chunked straight away. So that was quite bad by the Zillion to fall for that. Ugh. I forgot they have a Garen. They have a Garen, everybody. Question is, where is the Garen? 
in a bush. He is just in a bush. The bushwookie. This is fun. Garen can do. The only thing he can do is like flash on me. Oh, I don't know why I've seen a few Garens today. Like Garen is really bad. He was really like strong last year, but. He has not been strong for quite a while. No one escapes my I think the tower is nice though. That's a lot of money for me. I didn't expect a Shaco. And the Shaco can't really carry this, so I'm not that concerned. The Shaco won't be able to deal with an Echo at all. Um, what boots? What the booties? Just attack speed booties? Bonk. Legendary. Wait, the Garen's grouped up again. Don't think all needed a flash then, but whatever. You think this red will be up when? Ah, oh. oh, my God! Wow, that was just rude. <laughs> that was straight up rude. It lit. Okay, I guess we got our answer. No, the red will not be available when I get over there. Okay. It's quite bad I forgot they actually have a Nilo and I was laning against it. It's just done nothing this game. From with staying top lane. Okay, there's Shaker. I was like, would Shaker just come and kill me if I go for this Garen again? Poison Scroll. Uh, the second channel is fully monetized. I am just low on content with getting back from my trip. So we haven't been able to like start the ramp up of uploading on Huzzy Extra properly. But yeah, when I get excess content again, our content will be starting to upload to Huzzy Extra more often. And then obviously the absolute plan is to move second videos of the day over to Huzzy Extra. So again, if you guys have not subscribed to it, it's in the description. Go subscribe to it because genuinely in the not too distant future, there will not be two videos a day on Huzzy Games. It will be one video on Huzzy Games and one video on Huzzy Extra. Why split? Basically, my YouTube channel has not been doing well the last couple of years. And I was even told by a YouTube employee years ago that uploading several videos a day is really bad for your channel. So I've basically been doing something that's been bad for the channel health. So I'm finally do doing something about it. Seek 
a ward next to a pink ward. Okay. Today, the fate of our people hangs in the balance. Mm. Don't know who that is, Broom. Oh, he just ran away. Splits his content into five channels. Yeah, I mean, if a big content creator that has staff underneath them, they can have five channels and do that. I'm a one-man operation, so doing two videos a day every day is a lot. <laughs> and it's been a lot in the last couple months where I've been doing more than two videos a day because I've been getting the Huzzy Extra channel monetized. But typically, it'll be two videos a day moving forward, like when I upload one to Huzzy Games, one to Huzzy Extra. It will be maybe the occasional day that I upload two on one of the channels. Like, for example, if I want to do a, pl a playthrough of a different video game other than League, then I might upload two videos on Huzzy Extra. But I want to try and recover the Huzzy Games channel, and I can't do that. I can't do that with uploading two videos a day every day. It just is bad for a YouTube channel. So yeah. My audio nearly died then. Oh dear. So this LeBlanc is split pushing, by the way, which arguably she shouldn't be doing. It's just not necessary in this game. And she's dead. Oh, upgraded Kraken Slayer. I don't know if that's the one I actually wanted upgraded, but it's the only complete item I've got when Orn used me. Yep, that's the word I'll stick with. All items can be upgraded now. All legendary items, they changed it um, from being set specific ones to all of them. I don't think so, Prowling. Prowling just said, do, is there a risk that there'll be a negative impact? There won't be a negative impact on the channel. There could be a negative impact on my income. That's the biggest risk. Um, but... It's a risk I'm willing to take at the moment. Like, you know, I've got to do something. If I want to do this for, like, a longer time period than, you know, the next six months, I've got to do something. I knew it as well. That's why I barriered. The Garen's just going to rage split push because he's done terribly. I'm surprised he got me. Is that. It's not true damage, is it? I'm surprised that killed me. What happened to Huzzy Pilot? You don't come in stream often. Life. I met Queen Pleb. Fell in love. We wanted to move in together. So instead of using the money to become a pilot, I bought a house. Um, got on the property ladder, you know? And to be honest, the lifestyle of pilots, we have family friends that are pilots. And again, that's kind of what gave me the idea of it. I don't know if I want that lifestyle for me. They're never home. You know, they miss their kids growing up a lot. Whenever you are home, you're shattered because you're in different time zones. So it, it, the idea of being a, becoming a pilot, if you do it before you kind of start living your life a little bit. If you do it before you meet somebody who you're going to be with for life. I think it is a good idea, but I met somebody, you know? So that's kind of the whole thing. 
All right, there we go. Kind of a free win. We'll take it, though. Um, oh, we're Emerald 2. So there you go. Like it. Not everything's about money, Redo. You only live once. I would rather live a good life that I have time with my family than being away all the time and making a bit of money. Not everything's about money. We go 247. Not the best KD, but our assists are very high. Our damage is also pretty good compared to the Neela. So it's good. we had a good game. We actually out-damaged the Echo. It was 15 and 0. So again, we had a good game. Um, we'll take it. Neela... Again, I think it said she was a one-trick, maybe, or something. Um, yeah, she's a one-trick Neela. So that's, you know, she's, she has to play the same champion every game. Neela's not great if you don't snowball. To me, she's just a worse version of Samira. I, I don't know why people would play Neela over Samira, but... Yeah. Uh, but anyway, if you guys did enjoy a nice, a nice win on the Huzzy account, do throw a like on it, throw a comment, throw a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Cool down.